This is a quick real estate update from Jerry Metcalf Partners, real estate agents on the ground in Atlanta. We're talking about what it's like, what to expect, the pros, the cons, and what to consider to align yourself and your loved ones for the best opportunities. All right. Hey, everybody. This is the JMP Atlanta Market Ease Drop. We're going to really do it live this week. Um, everybody say hi. Hey, hey. Hi. Hello. This is clearly the first time we've done this live. So we thought it'd be good practice. Last week, we talked about what the average list to sell price is. And it's actually 100%. In Buckhead and Brookhaven, it ranges from 97 to 98%, depending on which market you're in and if it's was priced higher and reduced before it sold. This week, we're going to talk about what about the listings that don't sell. We pulled just now before we started and went live, we all pulled together and we're running stats and discussing together how many homes are expired this time last year versus this time this year. And then we went back a few years and found that usually this time of year, in November, well, we're in December now, but by the end of November, in the month of November, between 1,300 and 1,500 homes have expired in all of Atlanta. This year in all of Atlanta, that's Metro Atlanta, only 544 have expired. That's down by 66%. In Buckhead, that number's down by 33%, and it, 3327. And in Brookhaven, that number is down by 23%. So we thought we would talk today about what about those listings that aren't selling and what's the difference? What does every real estate agent say? Price. Right. right. Price. So often that is the case, but a lot of sellers want to know, yeah, but are you sure? How do we know? What are the other factors? What can, what can we control other than selling or what feels like we might be selling your house for less money? We talked about the presentation of the property and we talked about the experience when the showings happen, when the showings are scheduled and making sure these buyers are getting through the property, especially in the crazy times of right now. And, a, and giving them a good experience while doing it. Exactly. Is the, show, is the property accessible? Is the property <laughs> staged? Does it show well? Are the lights on? Is the property locked up? Does it feel good when they show it? In what markets? What are those showings supposed to look like? We have found that those differences when it's done properly, we actually call it, what do we, we, have, we haven't precisely named it yet, but it's the JMP presentation experience plan. When we do that, for example, we've had some recent sales, up to 3 million that have sold in just a few short days or without going on the market because of the way we're presenting them. Anybody wanna add anything to that? Chad looks like, he looks like he's descended from heaven with the light. He's muted and he doesn't know it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, is he on mute? Uh, I there thought I was there he is. A <laughs> It's like the movie Ghost, <laughs> where he's not really here. Is he here? Uh, Chad, what were you saying? You were making a joke, or you were well, it, it's going to hit different now. So <laughs> that's a shame. And now we're actually live, so we can't go back and edit it. You can't, you can't take back what you said, but we can delete this. So um, I'll speak to you. That actually matters with all price points. And, and, you know, we all work at all different price points and it does work very well at the $3 million mark, but it also works just as well. And it's just as important at the $500,000 mark. So I always encourage my sellers to take their time and really get it ready. If you rush on the market and it's not ready, it just doesn't work. And use that time when we're getting it ready. That's how we're selling properties before they go on the market, using that time to present the property for pre-sale or I say pre-sale to sell it before it goes on the market. Bridget, you and I have talked or all of us have talked a lot about, there's a lot of difference between making that experience what it should be for properties that are half a million dollars, $300,000. And there's a completely different experience and expectation between agents and buyers. Even though those same buyers may be buying in both markets, there's a very different expectation, different experience that's needed to make sure that the properties sell when they're shown. Yes, I agree. 
Uh, you guys have any more questions, reach out to us. Jack, Adam, Bridget, Chad, anything else we should add to that? Nope, you nailed it. Perfect. If you're thinking about selling, it's good time <laughs> to sell. For sure. Inventory or no supply is 1.6 months now. Last week it was 1.9, just as an example. That's insane. Last year it was a hot market at three months. A neutral market is six. So yeah, exactly. Let us know if y'all have any more questions. That was fun. Thanks, Jerry. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you to our ambassadors and clients for your support of Jerry Metcalf Partners, where all our mission is to deliver the best service and the best results for our clients' needs, their wants, and their families.